As the coronavirus pandemic continues, more than 50,000 cases have been confirmed across Arkansas. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight for Fox 16 News at 530. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Let's get straight to it. Here's a look at the latest numbers. 645 new cases have now been confirmed across the state in just the past 24 hours. That brings the total number of active cases to 7,343. 508 Arkansans remain hospitalized. That's actually down six from yesterday. And so far, 42,139 people have recovered. Sadly, 11 more have died, bringing the total number of deaths in our state to 555. As the beginning of the school year continues drawing closer, many are voicing their concerns about kids returning to the classroom and for student athletes to the field. Today, the governor spoke about these issues in his daily press conference. RJ Burr was at that meeting as usual, joins us now with the latest. So, Jay, did they iron out anything today? Well, not not really, guys, but as we do inch closer to school starting here in Arkansas, there will always be some questions as to should we start school in buildings with the way the state has been trending. The Arkansas Education Association held a meeting with lawmakers today to voice their concerns, and from that meeting ultimately came that the association wants to start school in an all virtual setting, and that is across the state. Leaders of the AEA say that they do understand the importance of in-class learning, but think the protocols and procedures are just too risky and too disruptive in that environment. Now, Governor Hutchinson remains of the position that school will start in classrooms this fall and then the situations can be monitored across the state. Well, they asked for a virtual stop, start for uh, the first two weeks of school and then see where we go from there. Uh, we're having the opposite approach, which is let's start school in classroom instruction. Uh, let's do everything we can to be successful. Uh, and if we have to adjust down the road in individual school districts, uh, we will do that. The governor also saying the Department of Health should be posting some guidelines on youth sports leagues, city recreational leagues as well. We've gotten reports that many cities have still not opened up their fields or their leagues because those AAA guidelines were very specific to high school sports and didn't necessarily trickle down into those leagues. But the governor hopes this will clear up any confusion from that and from that everything from peewee football to adult soccer leagues can re resume operation under those guidelines that will eventually be put out. Again, those will be on the Department of Health website, guys. All right, Jay, thank you.